So recently I brought this Hike Micro Pocket Series Pocket Thermal Camera and I have been impressed with this device since I did purchase it. Now it comes in the box as we can see and then when you take it out of the box you'll see that it comes in a very cool case with a metal clip and yep this feels perfect when it is on your belt and you're walking around with it. Now I've actually found myself using this pocket thermal camera when I am in different situations. So as we can see here it combines a normal camera with an actual infrared thermal imaging camera and here on the side is where we power it up you know we can transfer images over to your computer or we can uh, just charge the battery up internal battery up but yeah guys also down here which is pretty cool is that it has a tripod screw as you can see here so we can mount this onto a tripod which is very cool indeed. So yeah, guys, this is the EO3 model and I'm basically gonna switch it on and show you guys a quick demonstration of how this does work. So here we go, Hike Micro, it is currently switching on. And as you can see here now on the desk, bear with me, bear with me guys, okay. Let me just try and get rid of this uh, light that's interfering okay so hopefully you'll be able to see it here so if I now put my hand under this camera can you see the heat that is now coming off my hand now guys this really is cool so as you can see here's the table now if I put my hand on the table and then cover it you're going to see the imprint of my hand from the warmth so watch this Do you see there's nothing there yet do it again there's nothing there. Right, guys, watch this. I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds. So here's my hand, you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, guys, watch this and then move my hand. How cool is that? So this has left the heat signature of my hand on the actual table. Now, as you can see, there's nothing there. Come back again. So if I press this button up here, I am gonna take a photo. And as we can see, I have just taken the photo of my hand. And guys, that is really cool. So I'll show you some photographs which I have taken with the uh, Hike Micro EO3. Again, that's just so cool. Look, there's nothing there, but yet here's the heat signature what's left behind. Now over here you can see the red. So the red one basically means that this is the hottest part of the image. Over here you can see the blue flashing up every randomly. That basically means the coldest part of the image. And then the white is the center of the image. Now, if we click over here, it will allow us to basically, so now we're just viewing the thermal signature. So that's just a thermal signature on its own. If uh, actually, bear with me. So as we can see, we have got a chain. Okay, so we've got the chain here, okay? And this chain is at the minute pretty much cold. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold the front of the chain in my hand, as you can see, let's see, and I'm gonna warm the front of the chain up. Actually, as a matter of fact, let me try and warm this chain up, okay? So I'm using my body temperature, this would be a good experiment, I'm using my body temperature in order to try and heat this chain up, this model chain. Right, let's see if this has worked. Okay, as you can see, I've now heated up this model train with my hand. So I'm taking a photo. So I've heated, I've heated up this model train 
And as you can see in the image, it is warm. So the temperature for my hands has warmed up the plastic of the model chain. So this is the thermal imaging. If I click on here now and go to here, now it's combined it. Have you see the way that this image has became sharper? That is why, so it looks a little bit more blurred here. And doing a click here, it looks a lot more sharper. That's because it is now combining the real camera with the infrared camera. So they basically like the real camera is overlaying its image onto the thermal image uh, camera's layer. Okay, if, you're, if we can explain it that way. So basically what this setting is doing is combining both the thermal image camera in addition to the normal camera, which is why it looks like this. Or we can just switch it off and have the normal looking camera. So on this one is the normal looking camera. On this one is just the thermal imaging. And on this one is both cameras combined together the photography camera in addition to the infrared camera. So right guys, let's talk about some of these photographs in real life. So, okay, if I go in here and if I select this folder, we will now see a list of photographs we have taken over the course of having this camera. Now, let me find this one, because this one's pretty cool. I work on the real way, so, I am surrounded by trains all the time. So if we have a look at this image, for example, this photograph here is showing us the wheel, just bear with me, the wheel of a train. And as we can see, the wheel of the train is very hot due to the fact that the brakes heat up the wheel of a train. Okay, so trains have to stop and move, and the brakes is what stops them. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can have a look at the image. Now, the image I'm going to show you now, this image here does not show you the wheel. So that's just a normal image, but it doesn't show you any heatness in that wheel at all. However, if we go back to the thermal imaging shot, we can see how hot that wheel actually is. Now, moving on to that, let's have a look at another image. Well, so, for example, this one is of an ambulance. Again, note the wheels of the ambulance. The wheel of the ambulance is very, very hot. So, if again we go to the normal looking image, bear with me, guys. That's what the ambulance does look like. So, we can't tell how hot the wheels is on that ambulance. But if we have a look at the thermal image inside, we can clearly see that the wheels of the ambulance are very hot. So let's have a look at another image with regards to this device. So this one was taken on the bus, but let me come off this, come back down. So here we go, we've got another shot right here. So again, this is a diesel train, okay? So if we have a look down here, we can see how hot the engine is on this train. And this is an exhaust pipe, or not, yeah, an exhaust pipe. So this line going up is an exhaust pipe. Look how hot that exhaust pipe is. Now if we click here, and if we go to the normal image, have a look at that. We cannot tell how hot part of this train is by looking at the normal image. However, if we go back and have a look at the thermal imaging, we can see exactly how hot this chain is apart. For example, this part down here is the hottest part of this chain. So guys, again, I got to say, I am absolutely over the moon with this Hike Micro Thermal Imaging Camera. It is absolutely fantastic. I love the fact it comes in this case. And yeah, it also shoots video too. So if I hold this down, this button here, if I hold it down, it will take a photo. And if I hold it down longer than two seconds, it will start to record. 
and if I hold it again now, it will stop recording. So yeah, it shoots both video and photographs, and best of all, it tells you the temperature of things, which I will be using it when I'm out hiking on my Fox Recon Adventures stuff. But yeah, guys, just thought I would share this video with you. Uh, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you all later.